Scorpio. So you Scorpios have the Three of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Three of Wands. So these three cards right here are all about how you Scorpios are um, A lot of you Scorpios are very much so uh, in a celebratory mood right now. The reason why it is I'm saying that is because you have, like I said, you have a lot of attention. The Three of Cups represents having the pick of the litter. Being able to associate yourself with almost anyone that you Scorpios have that you uh, may want. Hold on one second. So... As a result of that, spider, as a result of that, um, you Scorpios feel good about yourselves because the two of wands represents, you know, finally going from, you know, feeling kind of, you know, hard on yourself or, or you know, being very difficult on yourself because, you know, especially into, you know, especially online, you know, it's all about, you know, money, power, respect, you know what I'm saying? You know, you got to bag somebody and being the tall, the tallest and the most handsome and competition and all this other type of goofy stuff. And a lot of you Scorpios really decided to turn the TV off, right? Um, turn the, the, the desktop computer off or click out to really realize that, yeah, to a certain extent, it is that way. Yeah, it is. But a lot of the stuff that people be saying is really for clicks and it's to really to get you upset to really amp you up to feel a certain kind of way so that you can you basically trying to get you strung out or addicted to being upset is what it is that a lot of people wanted and a lot of you scorpios realize that your 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 own seeking your own validation and your own self-worth was really what mattered in the first place because for you scorpios then you realize that the best thing that you could have done was free yourself, three of wands, high priestess, free yourself from the, the idea of um, feeling like you have to put on for others, right? And, and kind of ghosting people and realizing that, you know, self-worth begins in here. It's not out there. Self-worth begins with you, yourself. And a lot of you Scorpios have finally found said self-worth. You know, no more the nonsense like I was talking about and about how, you know, no more the nonsense, no more of the, 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 the doubting oneself, right, for a long period of time about what is it that you should do in order to find someone else, right, get a mate. And a lot of you Scorpios finally realize the tower to let it all go, you know, because at the end of the day, when it comes to, you know, what a lot of these dating gurus want to talk about. When it comes to respect and stuff like this, quote unquote, right? Respect has to come with dignity and like honor and these noble traits that a lot of people, not everybody, but a lot of people do not practice. There are still some people who practice it. When it comes to respect, you got to understand that respect is a complex yet simple thing. It seems complex to the people who do not exercise and practice it. But a matter of respect is is considering another person. You understand what I'm saying? And understanding that another person is another person would want a certain amount of accommodation or consideration. And you learning how to get out of your own way to be able to actually make a certain accommodation, right? That's what respect is. And it's not worship. It's not about worshiping or pedestalizing these people. It's about giving basic decency, basic respect. And when it comes to this, this ideology nowadays of respect, right? What is respect? Money, power, respect, game, money, muscles, and game, right? Like you playing on a Nintendo 64, you know, you know, or, or the time rather where I grew up, you playing on a PlayStation 1, you know what I'm saying? It's like, do people even respect themselves enough to be able to give it to other people? Because, you know, when it comes to a matter of respect, it's like, come on, yo. Like, if someone doesn't have respect, it doesn't matter who is getting with them, no matter who it is. Take a look at Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith. 
right? So if it was just about, you know, you 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 know you you need to figure out these type of qualifications to 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 flip the game on its head, it's like no. At the end of the day, again, you Scorpios realized, or you should realize that at the end of the day, it's about personal choice. And it's about people can't get over their high horse. They can't get off of their high horse. They have this superiority complex that somehow they're better than you, Scorpios. And you realize that it's it's not a matter of they they can't. It's a matter of they won't. So that sets up them not not being able to or the can't because now it's like they they're so invested in this idea of you know, I'm too good. What happens is they end up passing out. They end up passing, passing, not passing out. They end up passing up on you Scorpios that may have shown these individuals that decided that they didn't want to get off their high horse for you. You could have shown them a better time than the, than the, than the, than the, you know, idealized, you know, pedestalized person. You would have probably been a, a better fit for them. So a lot of these Scorpios just kind of see how, you know, ridiculous the, the, the false ideologies and the, and the nonsense is going on. And the thing is that the temperance represents, and for you Scorpios, you're a lot happier because you have learned to let go. Because of one of the things that you'll, well, one of the things that used to get a lot of you Scorpios so upset too, or part of what would pull you back into the dysfunction into the dysfunction is like I said before it's the internet right when you watch these videos how it is that they always try to like put you in a situation where it's like you need to figure out a way to make yourself look better or to do this and do that it's like listen you can make yourself look better over the internet but you need to understand that if you do that you're going to make yourself a target to be robbed by some bandits out there who is is looking you know, to see what it is that you have because they nosy and they want to take it away from you. At any kind of point, if you know what I mean, that they need to, if you feel what I, if you understand, if you're picking up what it is that I'm putting down. So when you're doing all this look maxing and wearing all this fancy clothes and doing all this and dripped out jewelry and covered in diamonds and you got this and you being too flashy, that's looks that that is looks maxing but at the same time you need to understand that why you're doing that the wolves is watching so luckily for you scorpios a lot of you scorpios realize that at the end of the day it's not about it's it's not about the kind of car you drive or how beautiful or how tall you are like do those things help absolutely they help but these are not the, the these are not the defining factors, the end all be all, the alpha and the omega. At the end of the day, what is the alpha and the omega is what is, how is the person internally? And how do they express themselves inter, uh, externally as they express themselves internally in their own group internally? And a lot of you Scorpios understand this because now you have the Six of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, which is about you Scorpios dating for the right reasons. Over the course of, you know, the later half of 2022 up to now, a lot of you Scorpios kind of was starting to figure it out. But now you Scorpios have evolved again where your mentality has changed. A lot of you Scorpios are looking for this, the Ten of Pentacles, family setting. A situation where you can get to know somebody long-term in a family setting. You're actually dating for long-term. Some of you may date to marry. Some of you may date. If you don't necessarily go and sign on the piece of paper, you Scorpios are, are looking to be in a strong bond with somebody, a spiritual marriage. And a lot of, because a lot of you Scorpios understand it's not about you know, how tall you are, how beautiful you are, how, you know, how much your hips spread, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, doing splits on the car that you drive, the college that you went to, how much money you got in the bank. It's about 
both people respecting each other's time while they're still here. Given these people that are alive right now, they're flowers because unfortunately, everybody is on time. So now the Five of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles is about you Scorpios not having the time anymore, the tolerance anymore to even do the otherwise Scorpio thing, which would have been to bicker and argue. Scorpio, Aries, Gemini, which would have been to bicker and argue. Cancer, crabs, you Scorpios, you know, you like, it's exactly like what Drake said, you know, they can't even pay you enough to react. And what I mean by that is when you're getting to know somebody and like that, all of this stuff is to try to get you to be aggravated, but the even it comes in layers because even the aggravation of it all, you being aggravated is nothing but a deflection because they're ducking and dodging you. And it, and the, and the natural reaction to that, it would be anger. But once you learn to not react to what someone else is doing, and then you actually sit back and you stay still and grounded enough to peak game, you realize that they're trying to bicker and argue with you because they're dysfunctional. So a lot of you Scorpios are, are, are learning how to become a better socialite in the sense that when you see this type of behavior from others, they're trying to get you into a, a an argument because or, or a shouting contest because they don't want you to see that they're dysfunctional. And you, you Scorpio sitting up there, you know, but, you know, metaphorically fighting to keep people in your life. I'm not saying fight them. I'm saying struggling to keep these people in your life. You Scorpios are starting to realize that, again, the Knight of Pentacles. To leave it, let me bring you the better, the fuller, more fuller picture. It's better that you leave it behind. The juice is not worth the squeeze. It's not worth someone trying to bicker and argue because they have a superiority complex because of the fact that they need to project and bolster because inferiority complexes and inferiority is the same thing ultimately one is just that one think thinks of themselves as inferior even though they are actually superior but they don't want to upstage others while the other one is is inferior in principle right no matter how much trinkets they have but the other one is given and awarded a certain amount of luck or has certain things or is perceived a particular type of way. So they have, they have, and respect goes to them. Some of them may have even worked themselves to a certain point, right? The hard way to where they can get certain things. And, you know, maybe they weren't uh, blessed with luck in that area, but somewhere along the lines, they have sacrificed or given up the, the best traits of them in order to attain this physical uh, goal that they were searching for. So a lot of you Scorpios realize that that's not the best thing for you Scorpios to be doing. Forget about all of that bickering and arguing. If they don't rock with you and they're, and they're not trying to make it easy on you where the two of you can get to an understanding then it's not worth it. So you're not going to stress yourself. Let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles. The uh, Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Then you have the um, Queen of Pentacles, excuse me, Queen of Cups. And then you have the Four of Swords. So that's another thing too, because of that, because of the fact that you're not bickering and arguing. Those people that are trying to get you into a, a, a shouting contest and argument, they very much so do like you, but you can't stay with them because it something would always come up. So that's pretty much it. Um, a lot of you Scorpios are starting to really understand y'all value and you understanding that other people really don't like themselves. Let me chill before I give y'all too much game all in one video, but that's pretty much it. Peace.